Sure. Two pair. A straight and a flush. Got it. How can I help you? Is... We believe you may be housing a suspect that we need for questioning. We need to search your house. Mm, I'm gonna have to make a call. Mm-hmm. Oh, is that so? All right then. Thank you so much for your time. Come back with a warrant. Um, I mean, all right. I guess we'll have to come back with a warrant. See you soon. Show me the warrant. Hey! Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Alright, now that we have Matt apprehended, let's do a search of this house so we can find that suspect. Well, we found the jackpot. Illicit pornographic material. And gambling. Wow. So, uh... What is all this? All right, get in. We got him. As a result, Map was convicted for possessing obscene materials and was sentenced to prison. She attempted to take up the case in the Ohio Supreme Court, but they upheld her sentence. Her lawyers then took it up to the U.S. Supreme Court. This set the precedent that not only did just the federal courts have to dismiss unlawfully obtained evidence, but that all state courts, where most criminal prosecutions occur, must as well. The Supreme Court then ruled that all evidence obtained through unlawful search and seizure was a violation of the Fourth Amendment. Hey! Woo! <laughs> now look at him go.